Hey guys. Uh, I'm just gonna work on finishing up this preform that I was working on last night. I didn't have it on video, but it's pretty cool. It got some cool like little speckles in it from all the it's pretty much the concrete pockets, but they're I heated this rock up and it they turned out pretty cool. It's kinda hard to see in the light, but uh, I figure we'll we'll do some punching on this. Let me finish this this one up. I know a lot of you guys don't, I, I mean, I know some of you guys, anybody that's watching this watches my channel, I guess, but I don't have a lot of subscribers or anything like that, but that's cool. But uh, one thing that does irritate me is, someone came on to my channel, and I, I understand it's YouTube, I get that. There's buttholes all over the internet. But someone disliked my one video. Why would you come on there and watch my video and dislike it? Dislike it. Are you an idiot? Just don't watch it. It doesn't even make any sense. Go make your own video. And then I'll come dislike your video. I'll get my pad and break that. Give me a second. Yeah, anyway. I can see someone disliking like a video. Maybe a Someone beating up a cat or something like that, whatever. But, dude, seriously, why are you gonna come on and dislike my video? Rude, man. I'll tell you what, man. So many rude people out there. Makes me sick sometimes. Wish I knew who it was. Me and that napping man slapped me in the face. I wouldn't do that, but still, though. Stupid. Person should be ashamed of themselves. I just like to know why they, why they didn't like my video. Tell me why. Put a comment. Why did you not like my video? Give me one good reason. Are you, you better than me? Cool and good. Good for you. You're better than me. I, I can really care less. If you think I'm doing something wrong, then don't watch my videos, bro. Simple as that. Go find something better to do. I'm bleeding from somewhere already. What's new? 
skins like paper from flint knocking. All right, now that my foot fell asleep, I think it broke my ankle. I just have it leaning on like a weird angle right here. Um, straighten some of these edges out here. I, I don't even know how I'm bleeding. I, I don't even know what cut me. I didn't even feel it. Not the slightest idea. Obviously it happened though. You know, like, I hate to keep bringing it up, that the whole disliking my video thing, I, I don't know why. It freaking irritates me, man. Like, I just don't get it.
I'm a very emotional person, man. That hurt. That hurt me bad. Not. I just think you're an idiot. So whoever watches this video that pushed dislikes, dislike on there. Do me a favor. If you subscribe to my channel, there's an unsubscribe button too. Just, just click that button. I'd feel better if you did anyway. Because <laughs> stupid. I'm just I'm just doing these videos just to um, show the way that I do it. I'm not an expert. I told you guys that a hundred times. I do not think that I'm not doing these videos because I'm like, hey, look at me. I can make an arrowhead. I don't give a crap, man. It's something to do. It's fun. I didn't know uh, we're allowed to have fun in this world anymore. So that's one of the things you can't do without someone being an idiot. But that's why I have my own YouTube channel because a lot of the forums that I go on, I seem to get criticized for my comments. But um, on here I can say what I want because you know why? It's my channel. So, all right, let me find my deer antler. I want to do a little base thinning down here. I, I, want to, I don't know if I want to notch this point yet or not, but. So we'll try to do some. Again, not going to be a big point, but uh, we'll see if we can get out of it at least. My punch stick broke, so I kind of heard about that. So I kind of messed up the way this thing feels. You know that that's a big that's a big difference, like with. Um, with copper punches or using the the um, organic punches like these, like the, the antler or stone or whatever you're using is, it's, I don't want to say it's, it's tougher, but it is tougher to use natural tools. But the, probably the toughest thing is, is, is adapting to the tool change, the constant tool change. And what I mean by that is like, you know, your, your, your stick when your punch breaks, it gets a little shorter, it doesn't have the same spring, you might have to change it out. Or like what happened to me the other week, my head, the head on my on this here got rounded too much on one side, so I flipped it and I'm using the opposite side. My moose pellet changes, it gets like a groove on it. Copper's not like that. If you're buying solid copper billets or if you're buying lead filled billets, you can always file them, grind them, whatever. You can do the same with these here too, I get that. But um, for me, at least, having the the tool shape itself while you're working is better because I think what it's doing is it's like it's developing your swing pattern and your striking pattern into the the billet or the punch that you're using. So you kind of get those areas made where you're used to, and you can utilize those little sharp edges or those little nicks in the in the antler. But on the other hand, it makes it tougher because the tool is constantly changing over and over and over again. So, you know, if, if any of you guys that are watch that watch my videos are, are using copper and you, you're going to go over to antler, because I napped with copper before, and um, I'll tell you firsthand, it's it's definitely easier with copper. I believe these tools are less for are, are sorry are are more forgiving. But your results are gonna be a lot different with copper, as in like um, 
you can hit on platform with copper that you can never hit on with it with with natural natural tools it's just not going to happen your platform's got to be at least set up a tiny bit not say with copper they don't have to be but these antler and hammer stones take specific platforms to make a flake go the way you want it to go, or else it's not. It's just gonna stop, it's gonna hinge, it's gonna crush the edge or whatever. So, and that's something I'm still learning too. You know, a lot of the times you'll see me, you'll see me hit stuff and it's like, you're probably thinking like, dude, this guy's a bonehead. But it's because I'm still learning. That's why I like to, you know, have this channel be primarily this isn't for like advanced nappers because I'm not an advanced foot napper. I'm still learning. I'd, I'd say that I'm still learning the basics um, with copper tools. I was, I was getting pretty good, but with these natural tools, not so, not so hot yet. We should try to make a little pine tree out of this because it's a small piece. Just try to make a little pine tree. I really like those points. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do a little edge cleanup on this piece. I got a high spot right there. I don't believe I'm gonna be able to get out. It's just too late, too late into the piece to really try to get that out of there. Nothing major, but You know, sometimes I look at my work and I'm like, I have a curio cabinet upstairs where I keep all my work, all my stuff in, a lot of my, well, actually all my really good good pieces and or I've been keeping all my ABO pieces lately because anything, anything that I make is good to me now because I remember when I first stopped using copper here like four months ago and I picked up a hammerstone and some antler and stuff like that. I was like, dude, there's no way. Like, I couldn't get a flake to come off, really, except a little tiny flake. And then uh, slowly I just started, I just said to myself, I was like, you know what? These other guys are doing it. You have to just put in the time, man, and just, and just learn it. And I had just recently given away all my, well, on a tree to, uh, Adam on Paleo Planet. I just traded them all my, all my copper billets, all my pressure flakers, whatever, everything. So now I'm pretty much stricken to use natural tools. I don't have much of a choice because this, this is all I got in my whole arsenal is just uh, natural tools. I think really like using, using natural tools is like a, it's like a dedicated thing, man. Like if you're not gonna stick with it, then there's no point in even switching over to it because Trying to think of where this pine tree, where what a pine tree would be under. Let's see here. Pine tree. Pickwick. Pinellus. Not there. Pine tree corner notched. So basically. It's just serrated, barbed really, 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 really hard. It has like some really hard barbs on it. That could be tough to make, actually. Yeah, 
you know what, we're gonna give it a shot. We'll go with uh, we'll go with one of these here on this. Probably something I got right there actually. So I'll set the book down here. This is the only reference I have to go by. I don't know how everybody else does it, maybe by memory. I can make a Dalton by memory now. For the most part, I can screw those up pretty quick too, but I can get them too wide sometimes, they don't look right. But. For me on this one here, the notch is gonna be the biggest challenge. We'll see what we can get out of it. Probably gonna have to thin this base of, actually those notches aren't terribly deep, let's see. Come up into there, fade this out. I think what I'm gonna do first on this is do my is do my uh, do my flare down in here. Let's see, is that gonna work? Let's see, do my flare. Actually, I'm gonna cut my notches in first. So I'm gonna do some thinning on the base here to. Uh, Get these not get this set up for these notches. Find this stone. Since this isn't a very big point, I figure a pine tree might be the best uh, the best point for this piece. But I want to make sure this base is fairly thin so I can get some. notches in here. All right. So I'm gonna get my get my abo drill out. This is made from moose antler. And this is sandstone. I haven't been using my issue much lately. Probably break that out. Oh, the latter piece. Okay, now I gotta find my preform. Guys, we'll be back. I'm at 23 minutes, but we'll start on some notching on this piece. 